Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program Fuckers. Hello, fuckers. And today I went to the Gold Coast. I had to uh, pick up a, uh, a Cartier clock, which was uh, being repaired. It's a long story. Normally I don't do dealer servicing, but, you know, it's one of these things there. They uh, they actually quoted a quite a reasonable price. And uh, another watchmaker I'd sent it to was unable to get any fucking parts. So, you know, you think, well, okay, I'll, I'll give you fuckers a go. So uh, that's exactly what I did there. I, uh, I gave these fuckers a go. And uh, i, I got to be honest with you, they, uh, they did a pretty good job. And the Gold Coast itself there, what's it like? Well, i got to be completely truthful with you there. It is fucking dying, okay? The Gold Coast itself... It's it's kind of sad to see this, but um, it's just fucking overpriced shops, overpriced stores. It's just it's on its last fucking legs, fuckers. And uh, you know the 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 sad thing is for a luxury goods person like Archie Luxury, the Gold Coast has seen better days. It's all over, fuckers. It's over. And the Gold Coast, look what's happened here. The um, the Hermes store, well, rumour has it Hermes at the Gold Coast is going to close because they've got the Brisbane flagship. You had Hourglass, who sold Patek, Rolex, uh, many top-end watch brands. Well, they moved to Brisbane and they closed the Gold Coast. I love the way the Asians announce this. They don't just say, oh... We're moving or we're relocating. No, no. They say, we're expanding. Business is fantastic. It's booming. It's gone crazy. We're opening a new location. Then they conveniently close another fucking location. They're just dishonest fuckers how it was done. But uh, I got to tell you, Hourglass, they have moved out of the Gold Coast. DFS, that's the big duty-free store chain they closed down years ago and believe you me their vacant retail space is still available it's a fucking disaster greedy nasty landlords greedy nasty landlords who are uh, just just fuck you over and uh fair suck of the sauce bottle fuckers fair suck of the sauce bottle and the Gold Coast itself, there. I mean, I don't know what you can fucking say. Overpriced, overpriced convenience stores. Uh, I bought the kids some ice creams for, for a, a fucking gay time. It was $4 each. I mean, fuck me dead. If that's not gouging, I don't know what the fuck is. It's just, the Gold Coast is one big fucking tourist ripoff. And uh, all I can say is the downturn couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of cunts. That's right, fuckers. The downturn couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of cunts. And uh, i got to tell you, the Gold Coast, its days are numbered. The glory days of the Gold Coast. It's all fucking over, Red Rover. And the luxury square there, it's turning into a fucking cancer. You've had um, Ferragamo went ages ago. Uh, that store's still for fucking lease. Hourglass, that's a big cancerous sore there. They they fucking moved out. That that would be fucking good a good twelve fucking months ago. Vacant, vacant, vacant. Cartier is apparently moving and they're gonna be closing the Gold Coast store, fuckers. It's over, red fucking rover. It's over, red fucking rover. And it's just doom and gloom. Doom and gloom, and uh, all I can say to all the Gold Coast property developers, the Gold Coast landlords, it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of cunts. That's all I can say. Greedy, nasty fuckers. And uh, I I'm really pleased to see it's all turned fucking cactus, that's for sure. I'm really fucking pleased because they're greedy, nasty fuckers. Fuckers, the world doesn't need any more nasty, greedy fuckers 
And you fuckers know how to gouge, that's for sure. And uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy it's fucking gone to shit. It's gone to shit like all fads, fuckers. And uh, its days are over. So there you go. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, reporting to you on the Gold Coast, and it's doom and gloom, fuckers.